Hi everyone, I'm Heather Paul, an engineer working with NASA's Desert Research and Technology Studies, or Desert Rats. I had the opportunity to talk with a few of the people on our team to find out what they had to do to prepare for our field activities. Let's see what they had to say. My name is Barbara Janoko and I'm the test coordinator for Desert Rats. And it's really a year-long process to get ready for a field exercise. We spend most of the year planning the activity. We conduct dry runs at Johnson Space Center over the summer and conduct the field test over a four-week period. Hello there, uh, I'm Ernie Bell, I'm the Mission Operations Team Lead for the uh, 2011 Desert Rats team. And uh, in preparation for this year, what we had to do was essentially put together a flight control team to execute this mission as if we are actually at an asteroid. And to do that, we had to work very closely with the science team, with the various engineering teams, and uh, all those associated with putting this together so that everyone was represented in the uh, mission control team and flight control team that we actually have back in Houston. Hi, I'm Jessica Marcus and I work with the development team that does SCORE, which is the scheduling and planning tool used in Desert Rats. For many weeks, Lisa and Megan have been planning all the activities that the crew needs to do so that they get all their science and operations done here at Desert Rats. My name is Zane Nye. I represent the crew office. Um, the astronaut office has prepared for this test by going back to school. We've done a lot of classroom work, we've done some field work, and we've done a couple of dry runs today and now we're ready to go. Hi, my name is Jacob Bleacher and I'm a geologist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. We're getting ready for this test this year. We uh, basically just continue to do our field research and run through the dry runs and try to give the engineers as much feedback as we can about all the systems that we're going to be testing. My name is Mary Sue Bell. I'm a planetary geologist at the Johnson Space Center and I'm a backup crewman for the Desert Rats 2011 mission. So I've been training right along with the prime crew to make sure that we follow the procedures precisely and get all of the data that we need to um, send back to the science back room in Houston, Texas. Hi, this is John Grinner. I'm from the Johnson Space Center and I'm on the science team. And today we're out here at Hot Dog Hill, but before we could do stuff like this, we had a whole lot of work we had to do prior to the mission. It all started with imagery from orbit, making geologic maps, finding points of interest, and then plotting traverses. So it was a lot of work, but it's paying off. Hi, I'm Chris Kennedy. I'm the Habitat Demonstration Unit Project Manager. This year at Desert Rats, we brought the Deep Space Habitat configuration. What we've done to get ready is we've added Telerobotics Workstation and the X-Hab Loft, which the University of Wisconsin won that competition. We also added the hygiene module functionality so the crew can spend overnight stays. Hi, I'm Cindy Evans. I'm a geoscientist at the NASA Johnson Space Center, and I'm the manager of the GeoLab in the DISH. Before coming out to the field, we had a lot of hardware to integrate in the DISH. We had software to integrate. We had teams to coordinate with. We're part of the science team back in Houston. And of course, we had to get ourselves ready for just being out in the desert for three weeks. Hi, my name is Mike Miller. I am the EVA backpack lead and also a member of the uh, communications team from KSC. To prepare for the field test for the backpacks, we had to ship all the packs back to KSC where we upgraded the voice system and we did a complete checkout to make sure everything was ready for the test. And then we shipped it to Houston for the dry run, supported three week long dry runs. And then after the final checkout, shipped them to Arizona for the field test. For the communications team, we have a lot more infrastructure to prepare. We have um, trailers and hummers and trucks and lots of uh, networking gear and wireless gear and um, all that has to be de designed ahead of time and um, prepared and tested and then shipped out here where we have to hike up Mount Eldon. We hike um, a couple other mountains. We go to local universities to put up antennas and then we bring all that back to base camp and we set up all of our structure and towers out here. Hi, I'm Kim Hambicken. I am a robotics engineer at Johnson Space Center. We've been getting ready for the field test by making sure that our robots can actually handle the desert. Uh, we've gotten Robonaut 2 all geared up to handle dust and the wind. And we've also been working on Centaur, the Centaur base, getting some sensors so that we can do remote operations of Centaur because that's a new thing for this field test this year. I'm Wendy Watkins from NASA Johnson Space Center and I'm the Education and Public Outreach Lead for Desert Rats 2011. And this is my fantastic intern Tim 
from West Virginia University. We do a lot of pre-planning and coordination with groups like Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, Space Center Houston, classrooms, and museums to do live and recorded video events that we can bring to you, the public, through our social media websites. We spend a lot of time updating those websites with videos and blogs and photos. So if you tune in to like Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, or our website, then you can follow along the mission as we do it and we engage you, the public, so that you can be a part of our mission as well. My name is Regan Giesman. I'm the photographer and I also do video for all of the Desert Rats. I have to spend a lot of time making sure I have cameras, batteries, lenses, filters, and all kinds of technical things. I also make sure to pack an extra pair of underwear.